Today's a big day. Livewire 4 is out, so go get your grubby little paws on it. I'm going to show you an app built in Livewire 4 that you can't believe. You can't believe it's not JavaScript. It's fast, and there's so much awesome stuff that you need to go try. And we've put a ton of effort into this for a very long time, and it's really easy to upgrade. So go do that. There's a Laravel shift to make it easier to upgrade. I'll probably put a link in the comments or in the thingy description, the doobly-doop. Also, there's a Laracast series that actually is the entire series where I built this app, and you can follow along and watch every little bit definitely watch that Uh, but let's jump in take a look at this so it's whatever posts you know i don't know what this is a cms or something and this page so everything in this app feels very fast but i put the throttling on the network to fast 4g so it's like i'm on a decent phone and i'm viewing this page and i refresh it and it's it's fast and all sorts of other parts of it get lazily loaded in as you need them all sorts of interactions are super snappy like they don't take network round trips at all bulk actions you know this number is updated uh, all sorts of things you're only going to hit the server when you need to hit the server this analytics page is the same it loads pretty much instantly and the, the expensive parts of it load as they need to with nice little placeholders and you can refresh them and do things like if we change you know the amount of time everything gets faded and you can even sort and drag and store the user preferences and refresh and they persist so that next time they refresh they have all their preferences from sorting saved there's just so much here it's super snappy it doesn't it feels like a full javascript spa you're not doing full page reloads you're just going to different pages and it's like an spa it's incredible there's all sorts of custom javascript stuff like dynamically resizing a text area as a user types that livewire just livewire makes all of this a total breeze like just look at the code for some of this so this is this post page right here it's it's beautiful it's beautiful. Single file components in Liveware 4 are so awesome. Like, oh, the title of the page is posts. Here's some properties. Here's some data that we need to get and some actions that we need to fire when we do stuff like delete certain posts. And the rest is just HTML. You're not going to find a big script tag here with a ton of JavaScript. All of this stuff is handled for you very simply. One of the features that we have now is like, This little bit here where you have these sub nested components, but you want some of them to be styled differently from the parent. Like I want the ones in draft to have this like dotted outline. Well, you just say colon class post status is draft add border dashed. And then inside that, whoops, not that. Why am I doing that? Go inside card and just like a blade component, you forward attributes, you look, you have named slots, you pass slots in, you can pass to like that whole checkbox, that whole selected thing, that's a slot being passed in to every child that's wire modeled to a property in the parent. So, so many cool patterns at placeholder, a super nice way to just say, what's the placeholder of this component when it's lazily loaded, when I just say, lazy, <laughs> like that's it. All this really complicated stuff is just like, oh, you just add lazy. And that sorting there, like on that analytics page, here's the analytics page. It's just a bunch of computed properties, a few things, and a bunch of HTML. And then this big island, let me show you that. So here, like we have islands. It's a huge new feature in Livewire 4. You take expensive parts of a page, like these metrics, and you just say, I want this to be on an island and I want it to be lazy. So now it's just lazy and it'll load after the page is fully loaded and when it reloads it only reloads and re-renders whatever's inside that island but you can still do all sorts of stuff like handle everything from inside this main component you don't have to add nested components things like that that sorting is as simple as this wire sort handle sort it's so simple and then you say wire sort item and then you give it a name and that's it now you get full drag and drop sorting with back-end synchronization into the database and everything it's just crazy the amount of stuff that is handled for you so easily um i guess let's look at this uh let's go to this so you go to a post and we go to edit post and i'm getting this do i want to leave the site because of a thing that i did but uh, just to demonstrate something, if I go inside that card, or not this, we go into post, or what is it, edit? Yeah, pages post edit. Okay, so in here, you'll see that there is a script tag. So I'm showing you all this new stuff in the script tag that gets like loaded as a separate JavaScript file on the server. So when I refresh this page and I go to JS, and I look at what's loaded in here, you look at the bottom and there's a bunch of JavaScript that you wrote here just inside of your single file component, but it's loaded as a full JavaScript module function and it 
puts it all right in there. So it's all cached. It's super efficient and you can access everything on your liveware component with this dot, like this dot dirty. That's a new feature. This dot JS show update success, like all sorts of stuff. Auto size the text area based on content. Like when it changes, just auto size it so that it matches whatever content is in it. Okay. There's a ton of new stuff. I'm so excited. The Laircast series is really the source of truth of me going through every little bit and showing you in as like best as I possibly can and as simply as I possibly can. Here's every new feature and how to use it and all sorts of tips and tricks along the way. Um, but yeah, I'm just so excited about it. And I want to keep talking about it. I don't want to end this video. There's so much here and we put so much work into it, but the best way I can sum it up is I can't believe it's not JavaScript. Like you're just using this this app that just feels snappy and you didn't have to like pull in a massive JavaScript framework and learn all these ins and outs and, and fiddle and faddle. It's just simple conventions that you learn and you use and sensible defaults and blah. go use Liveware for. I'll be seeing you.